Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core again and uh, discuss about the um, uh, clean architecture projects. So three projects in the solution in the last video tutorial uh, discussed that is the first one is the application core infrastructure and web API. You know that uh, that is the web uh, application core project is a, a independent project on uh, infrastructure and a web api so i mean to say that uh, there is a no changes in the application core if uh, if it is built and uh, changes in the infrastructure as as well as the web api projects so uh, let's get started so first of all create a application core project okay in application core project you can uh, create uh, some folders like uh, first folder is the entities folder where your models are there okay so the first uh, model in the entities uh, that is the um, you can say uh, product okay so the product model or you can say uh, create a class in the uh, um, in the entities folder that is the product class okay so you can say that uh, class product and in which you can take uh, integer ID and the second one is a string name and uh, some uh, other things like description like uh, that is the string also and uh, and ID is an integer so uh, you can say that uh, integer stock is there and uh, price is also there so price in the form of double and uh, take time oops price and uh, double uh, oops date time created at and updated at okay so these are the product field in the entities folder so uh, that is the entity and uh, in the application core project that is the first folder you can say the second folder in the uh, in the application core project that is the DTOs folder. So DTOs folder, and in which you can create uh, models uh, view models class. You can say so the you can say the product view model. Okay and in which you can create some and uh, some other class the first class is uh, product view model folder you can say that at dto's folder we have a product related informations and you can say the product view model also so in the uh, in which class you can create created product uh, request the first class is created create product request okay and in which you can take uh, like string name description and the uh, uh, double is the price okay so these three properties in the class uh, that is the name description and the price and the second class in the same uh, namespace that is the product view model the second class is update product request class update product request inherited from create product request okay so that is the inherited so these properties are automatically inherited and the update request I mean to say that uh, that is the form of integer stock 
okay and the next class uh, in, in the same folder and that is product response class so class product response and in which you can add ID name description stock and the price so that is the product response class so uh, the details folder is clear uh, that is the view model folder for the create update and the product response class for the client number three that is the exception folder in the exception folder uh, you can see that that is the three the first one is the uh, details folder uh, first one is entity second one is DTO, details folder uh, in the project and third one is exception folder in the exceptions folder uh, first of all create a class that is the not found exception not found exception class and the class is class not found exception okay and inherited from exception class okay so that class is uh, empty and the next one is the fourth folder that is interface folder uh, that is interface uh, folder interfaces interfaces folder we have a another class that is uh, that is the product related so the product i product class that is the i product class in the i product class that is an interface so um, create a interface i product and in the i product class we have a list of product so list of product response you know that uh, product response class we have all these properties so the list of uh, list of product response class I mean to say that get all products okay and uh, the next one is product response just uh, product response get product get a uh, product by id so just integer product id okay the next one is delete product so void delete product by id so integer product id and the next one is product response create product or you can say the insert product so create just uh, get the response type but uh, in the parameter we have a create product request create product request that is the request just i want to add a new product okay and the next one is a product response update product and in which you can add product id so integer id and the next one is update product request Update product request and request so that is the work of the interface uh, folder so interfaces are clear number fifth folder in the project uh, that all folders created in the application core project okay so the first one is entities second one is DTOs and third one is exception number fourth is interfaces and then number five is mapping folder 
so in the mapping folder we have a auto mapper so just install the auto mapper uh, uh, auto mapper uh, package in the so in the project so that is the new folder that is mapping okay so in the mappings we have a class that is the profile class my profile class you can say so my profile and class my profile and inherited from the profile class okay in the constructor you can just map that folders okay in the constructor the first uh, is the my profile my profile and in which you can create map is the method name where you have to uh, create product request create product request from the product and again create map product and the product response okay so that is the class and in the mapping folder we have to create uh, mappings the next one is the utils class the next folder is utils folder utilities I mean to say that so utils folder and utility is related to the date so uh, date util utility uh, so that date, date utilities uh, class and in the date utilities class we can create a current date times so just create class that is the static class so make an extensions also so uh, you can say that uh, uh, extensions uh, make you can say make extension methods so make an extension method class uh, util util date and in which you can create public static date time and uh, get current date okay so uh, that is the current date uh, just I want to return time John info dot current sorry convert time uh, from UTC that is the date time dot UTC uh, now and time John info dot local okay so uh, that is that class is used for the just get the current date times information and mapping folder is used to map uh, between the uh, you can say that uh, view model to models so that is the view model information and that is the model information so that is the model and that, that is the view model so just convert it and also product response convert to the product class and that uh, interface is used to get all information from the related to the product exception uh, is a generate exception and that is the DTOs folder we have a uh, view model folder you can say and entities folder that is the man product class so in the application core project we have these folders that the first one is entities second one is DTOs 
third one is exception and number four is interface and five is mapping utils thank you very much for watching